Education is the key to nurturing young minds and a future generation. But how do you get that key? This week on Table Talk, we talk about being a teacher in the Tech Talk era and what it means to be an educator today. And welcome back to another episode of Table Talk. Yes! We finally have good looking the people applause. on the show again. <laughs> yes! Again. What, what, again? Like, why? We had key last week. Yeah, yeah we had key. Again. Like, oh, again. Just, okay. So it's been happening more okay. frequently, okay. you know? Okay. It's been I thought it was frequently. sorry, key. Just shut up, bro. Yeah. I love oh my gosh. Fit, like, Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? It's a. Uh, is it Monday still? Yes, yes it's, Monday. it's a Monday. It is Monday. <laughs> yes, I, yes. Not, as a, not at the time of recording. Never hurts to check. Never hurts to check. How, how are you, Mingyu? How are you, Jeremy? Oh, uh, what a long <laughs> day, man. <laughs> I like we'll how- talk more about our sponsors later. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Jeremy, how you been? Okay, I, I'm doing good. That's great. What I'm, do you have for dinner? I, I know, we had dinner very together. Very nice, <laughs> spicy food which you didn't yeah. enjoy. It was good food. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some supper later. But hey, you know what we're looking forward to today? Today, we have an episode that we've been actually trying to figure out for the longest time when it comes to like having a teacher on board. Damn, right? damn, damn. Um, and I'm so proud to say that for... For once, I actually found someone that Jeremy and Mingyu were like, oh, 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 this is, this is, this is the credit. Please introduce yourself, who you and what you do if the intro didn't already introduce <laughs> who you are. <laughs> Please, go Hi, ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Sichi. I am 25. I'm a full-time teacher. Wow. Woo! That's the applause sound effect. Right, yeah, this, I'm is just... the, this is the applause from my, my past. And oh. being a school a school kid, why didn't I get a teacher that looked like this? I'd be I so much more trying. interested. To, <laughs> I to had learn. teachers who look just as great. Huh? My teacher, Lies. I see your teachers. <laughs> my teacher, oh my, my teacher when she scold me, I'm not yeah. sure she's looking at me or the plant next to me. So I okay, <laughs> no, okay, moving forward. Hey, hey, that's, she gets, that's, that's that. <laughs> How come he's allowed to make jokes like that? I want to make jokes like that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna put the red sign now. Like, okay. How how are you? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. Sh- sh- chi. <laughs> <laughs> chi. I can't start properly. Sh- I'm great. I'm great. I'm You're, happy to be here. Did I did I pronounce your name right? Sh- sh- chi. You're also known as Kiwi. Chiwi. 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 On, yeah. tic- on, on TikTok. That is uh, I guess the obvious question, do you like kiwi fruit? I, I don't really know. Oh. Yeah, thanks for cute. watching the episode today, Bye. guys. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. Since you're talking about that, what's your favorite fruit? Go. Oh. Fruit. Mm. Dragon fruit. Favorite Malaysian dish? Chicken rice. Favorite hobbies? Singing. And she likes long walks on the beach. So guys, I already did my oh. part. It's up to you now. No, oh, man. that is <laughs> not. Um, we have Chiwi here. And basically, if you didn't already get it, you are a teacher. Yes. yes. Um, Come on. Um, just, just want to ask, primary, secondary, college, university. Just in the room. realm of education. Yeah. I teach primary and secondary both. Oh, Damn. Man. Yeah. Did, well, bounce in between day jobs. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. At the same, no, wait, at the same time? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Damn. Mm. I can't remember year, year one of my work. What did you study uh, before becoming a teacher? Uh, I studied education. Literally. Yeah, so I studied elementary education, actually. <gasps> so my first job was teaching primary school. And then yes. when I got this current job, then I got a I secondary like a school. course, right? <laughs> I no, I didn't no. have to. It's like a top up for your your insurance program, like you know, like, you just up went one level. So you did elementary. What is it called? Elementary again? primary school, basically primary okay. school education. Wow, where in the US? Okay, at the end of this podcast, you are going to tell us very honestly between the both of us if we're qualified to be teachers, educators. yeah, like, or educators. Just in general, don't feel bad about your yeah. answer. This, just, we but, want but the teach assessment. Teach what? Teach media. You, you tell you me. Look, look. You tell yeah. me. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Could. I don't I don't think the kids care. <laughs> this is I, just like, are we effective teachers? Okay, okay, okay. okay. We'll find out. If you guys <laughs> want to find out, watch the whole podcast. That's, that's how we get you hooked. <laughs> that is actually just, just no, no, not, not the kids, but Sorry. I just want to say that's actually really interesting because, right, growing up, I don't think I remember any of my teachers Being saying that they studied how to be a teacher. Yeah. They, they, oh. they probably studied something else and ended up in the, the school that I was in. Like, oh. I know my chemistry teacher, not going to say which one, uh, she just was like, she did chemistry. And then she decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to go into labs and research. Uh, I just, I'm just going to teach chemistry. How, did, do you think like learning education made you a better educator? Like what is like mm. learning yeah. education like? Mm-mm, yeah, that's such a good question. I mm. think yes, because I learned how to do classroom management. I learned how to plan lessons that are engaging. 
things like that, which you don't really learn if you don't study education. Right. So I think that's my edge. Maybe I'm not as like well versed with the content as maybe someone who studied chemistry, mm-hmm. but I know how to handle a class. Yeah, that's I I feel actually that's more important mm. being a teacher because I mean. <laughs> You can have all the knowledge of like a, a legit chemist, right? Mm. But if you're not able to like impart that to your students, mm. they take home nothing. Because I, I think planning classes is such a big thing that maybe we didn't get so much in like our school. What is or, classroom planning? Our, our what, school what is growing up. What is classroom management? No, it, I, I remember like in, 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 in school, there'll be times where the teacher would come in, open a textbook and literally just write on the yeah, blackboard yeah. notes and they'll tell you to write the notes. I'm like, why am I writing what I'm reading in the textbook? Right. And it's so like, you don't learn anything. And then I say, Chigu Kanapa, then they throw the desk at me. Shut up. Yeah. Yep. That's great education. <laughs> I it's, love it. It's true. More of them is like, uh, open your textbook. Okay, Sendiri Bacha. Mm. Mm. And then Bacha, then they will walk out. And then we are like, what are we reading actually? And then like, okay. Uh, I I think it, it makes a big difference. I, I've never heard of class management. Mm. Give us a, a TLD or what's class management. Like a rodeo. <laughs> gotta round up them you, gotta, you gotta know which are the click leaders then yeah, you get basically. them into your circle then they <laughs> help you actually no that's circle. definitely part of it oh. <laughs> yeah it's like it's like managing the classroom making right. sure that they are on task yes. um, that they are engaged yes. that they are not like distracted lor. so mm. like yeah getting to using the ring leader to your advantage is a damn, strategy damn, damn. it is a thing mm. it's a, it is it's a thing sure. I, I don't think a lot of the teachers that we grew up with understood that it was not just about what you're Teaching from the books, it's about the kids, right? Yeah. It, it's about your class. Straight up. Um, when did you know you wanted to be a teacher? Like, how did it happen? Mm. So growing up, I never wanted to be a teacher. I <laughs> wanted to be a YouTuber. Oh! Yeah, but like... Sorry, I was but really I became loud. a teacher, like, dang it. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so happy you did this. <laughs> I'm sure all your students are happy you did this, actually. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of YouTuber did you want to be? Like lifestyle. Of course. Oh, you of know. course. All right, let's hear. Let's, we, we have to do it. Top five YouTubers. Three. Go. Let's do top three. Your favorite. Favorite YouTubers. Michelle Choi. Okay, oh. yes. It's a very it's a, we, a name we get a lot. Yeah, Next one. Love. Um, Evelyn Ha. Uh, mm, I'm yes. just nodding at this yep. point. Third one. Yes. If you had the chance to meet right now behind the black curtain. Niga Higa. Surprise! <laughs> no, we, 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 we don't, Dang we don't. it! I wish, I wish. My goal, right, is that we have enough money and then we can just Yo, do that. You, oh my imagine, god, imagine, I will cry. Imagine if oh you, you name all three, right, and the one that we got wasn't the three. And, and then you like, just be like, that's my fourth one. <laughs> no, no, no. See, that's class management, guys. We, so, <laughs> we, we managed to do that once. We managed to do that once. We, we brought like Steven from BuzzFeed over and we shocked oh. the pants out of everyone. Huh. But that was like, just That's total cool. surprise out of nowhere. Dang. Speaking about no, <laughs> no, 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 no anyone, no, no. the show hasn't reached that so, moment. Okay, so you didn't end up becoming a YouTuber, but yeah. you still make content. Yeah. So yes, it's yeah. still it's still part and parcel of uh, the life. That's true. Where was the flip? Where was the flip? Um. Okay. So I've always been interested in like creating content. I like mm. marketing. I like media. I've always thought that I would do that. Mm. But I think at like form five, when I was thinking about what I wanted to study, mm. um. So like I, I'm Christian, so I prayed about it a lot. You know, I really wanted to do something that I feel was shout out JC. Let's get real. Yeah, let's like, be real. <laughs> let's be real. Okay. I was, <laughs> no, no, it's another I, Christian podcast. I know. You know I listen to yeah, it. Yeah. Brandon Hall. I listen. I listen. <laughs> I'm a, I, I listen to that too. <laughs> Anyways, it's um, a boy, Brandon. Okay. Anyway, yes. Yeah. So um, something that I felt was meaningful and that yeah. aligned with my calling. Right. And so, yeah, I discovered that I love kids and I'm good with kids. Yeah. And so something that Is I it you feel teach Sunday school during, on Sundays and then you some, figure it out? Sometimes, like, but not really a lot. But okay. I, I used to volunteer a lot. Whoa. Like in the, yeah, with like ch- like the cancer hospital, Children's yeah, yeah. Cancer Hospital, so, stuff like that. So I would like work with kids a lot. <laughs> this girl is at form five. Sorry. Yeah. Oh what? my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold okay, on. we have um, a literal angel the, among us. Which right area now. of what the heck? Which area of uh I was gonna go say which area of heaven do you grow up in? No. <laughs> which area of KL or PJ did you grow up in? Um I'm from Kuching actually. It's East no, Malaysia. I'm it's the, the East Malaysian blood. Uh, East Malaysian uh, people are just really different. Are just different <laughs> Honestly, just <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm you, so impressed. Wow. Look you, at you. you. Just build I'm different done, man. Now. I, I'm done. We, I'm done. we can end here. Like, okay, okay, oh, we can end here. Jeremy's oh, very angry. So God told you, this is it. And this you're like, it. yes, Jesus, I'm going. Yeah, I felt a burden. Yeah. Um, especially for 
um, the next generation in Malaysia. And so that's why when I Girl. studied abroad, I, I really wanted to come home. So was the wow. second option after, third, the op- third option after YouTuber teacher was pastor one of them? Because I, I feel like... I thought about it. I feel like I think this should have uh, been another one, honestly. Tier, right. I thought about it. We're just going to put another T on top, like the line on top there, and that's, that's our Christian <laughs> that's podcast. That's crazy. But, I love that. <laughs> so you gosh. felt like, you felt a... Uh, I so uh, Okay, for everyone who, who doesn't get maybe a burden, such a big word for this one, uh, you did feel a special something in your heart for the next generation. Yeah, like I care for them. Yeah. Like I, I want to feel that I can contribute to Malaysia, to the next generation of Malaysia. Like the responsibility, that, that, that ownership over is there. Yeah. Oh, good. It's, it's, it's hard. You see, we, we grew up in a Christian household. Mm. Some terms, our friends don't understand. Right, like, you know, right. Burden. You're and right. Because it's a bad thing. Yeah, it just actually yeah. it's a different word. Yeah. It's a different, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. different word. Okay, so wow, wow, wow. I, that what a way just, to kick that off just, the podcast. Yeah, that just blew <laughs> the answers out. Like, where do I go from here? Okay, we're done. We're, um, we're done. Really. That's I. I think that's a, a un, absolutely one one in a million kind of answer. I don't think I. What was I doing on a form five? I I had no call. Please, Jesus, tell me where to go next. It was like, <laughs> bring me somewhere. I'm okay if anywhere I go. Right. Um. Now you are considerably still very young as a teacher, mm, right? Yeah. Unless the median age of teachers have like shifted. Do you think you get treated differently as a young teacher? Yeah, 100%. Oh, here we go. Yeah. By All students right. and I think, okay, let's talk about students first. Okay, let's go students. They see me as like a sister figure. Like older things, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and so I'm able to relate on so many things. Mm. Like I watch the same TikTok videos. I watch the same movies. Yeah. I listen to the same music. Mm. Yeah. And I know all the games that they're playing. So every reference that they're making, you're like, huh, I know that too. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. Or like, you know, sometimes I try to be cool and like I try to say this TikTok stuff and like, sheesh, like, and they think I'm so cringy. They're like, <laughs> just stop, stop. You know, but like, it's different, right? Normal teachers don't really so, okay, say question, that. Like, like are, your, are, are your colleagues also of a similar age to you? Are they all, are you one of the younger ones? I'm one of the younger ones, but we okay. do have a few young teachers. Okay. okay. But the majority hope. are a little bit older. There is hope. Yeah, That's good. Hope. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, parents, hmm. do they treat you differently when they see you? Um, so something really funny happened mm. um, during parent teacher conference. I was the one in in like the front desk, mm. so like signing parents in. Mm. And one parent came up to me and was like, "I saw you on TikTok," <laughs> and like I was so awkward, you know. I was like, "It's like good thing, is that a bad thing?" But yeah. I think it was a good thing he was laughing about it and stuff like that. So, mm. um, so far so okay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much okay. Other than like occasionally, oh yeah, I saw you online, and they know me as the TikTok teacher. The TikTok. Wow, even okay. parents do. Yeah, that's. I mean, so far so good. That's great. That's a very different response. I saw you on you on, on TikTok. It's nice, like as a teacher on TikTok. Like yeah. I don't think we got the same. I see you on YouTube. I'm like shit. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> I mean that's great. I I think with you being the teacher you are, you know, yeah. um, literally having studied education. Uh, there's, I think there's going to be a big shift in education. I, I, I hope. I mean, do you see more and more people uh, becoming teachers or is it like, are you a rare breed? Mm, I don't think many people want to get into education if you're oh, not yeah. passionate about it. And right. I don't recommend you to do it if you're not passionate about it. Okay. Why? 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 it's time consuming. Mm. Honestly, the pay is not that, you know, enticing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and you have to have so much patience. Because yeah. kids, they it's have kids. like, yeah, you know, they maybe they have something bad to happen at home. So they come in right. school and then they're like jerks to you. Yeah. Or, you know, they're young, they think they know everything. Of course, they're like great yeah. kids and like, yeah. you know, most of the time it's good. But you need a lot of patience mm-hmm. and understanding. Um, so yeah, but I do, I will say a lot of my co-workers are really good teachers and they right. really love the kids. And so, you know, when, even when we hang out like after school, we talk about them, we talk about how we can like love them better or like, how can we teach better? And so mm. I think teachers like that really make changes in the yeah. kids' lives. Yeah. So yeah, they encourage me wow. for sure. I, the I, fact that you guys talk about it after Yeah, I'm like, there are conversations really like that? Mm. Like, I don't think we grow up the same kind of teachers Very at different, all. very different. How time. are your teachers? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I like had, someone or something also inspired you. Yeah. Did they? Right? Yeah. Mm. I had good teachers. I also had bad teachers. Mm. Um. The good ones, okay, I remember very specifically one teacher, Madam Chong, and I still keep in touch with her. Okay. Maybe she listens to this Shout podcast. Madam Chong. Yeah, Man, she, uh, she's my number one fan. Like, oh, she really is. Okay. Yeah, whenever I go back to coaching, yeah, like, yeah. You know, we, we will meet her and stuff. But she really cares for us. Yeah. And mm. she will spend money on us. She'll spend time on us. 
You mm. know, she even until now, I've been gra- I graduated for like seven, eight years already. Yeah. But she keeps in touch with me. Wow. Like, wants to get updated about my life. You know, so teachers That's like this rare. make a difference. Yeah. yeah. What what was she one of the reasons why you you were kind of open to becoming a educator yourself? Definitely. I think good experiences with great teachers. Definitely. Yeah. So you could be the reason why a lot of pe- like kids might want to become a cool TikTok so. teacher or whatever TikTok is by that time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, um, there's a lot of changes, I guess, in education uh, happening these days. Also, like realizing that my kid can learn more from YouTube compared to going mm. to tuition. Like, like, like Haley, I think is the thing my family knows. She taught herself to read at wow. two. And I'm like, I don't think I could read at two. I don't think I could even read at three, just to be honest, <laughs> right? Um, like she could read even before she started talking properly. Um, and, and I think it's like watching content and TikTok and so far, mm. like like actually, okay, watching content, attention spans. You're on TikTok. TikTok is like a six second, 10 second kind of yeah. thing. How are um, kids' attention spans doing these days? Dang, they're short. They're it's, short. It's, it's, it's real. It's, yeah. it's real. Yeah, and it's we scary. are... My school is an iPad school, Apple school. Oh. So all kids have an iPad. Just, so, so you say Apple? Excuse me? Yeah, hey, what up? Oh, uh, it's a nice segue. This episode is brought to you by- No, it's not. No, it's oh, not. Sorry, no, it's sorry. not. I wish it was. I just no. want to say that the <laughs> new iPhone 14 is out now and you guys can get it. Mm. Not with me, but I'm just you holding it up it. because- Who are you talking to? Because mine's purple. Where's the buy button? There's no buy button on this. Back to you. Um, <laughs> So what, what's an Apple school? Like you guys- So what? we all use iPads. Um, my, my school didn't even teach me, give me a free exercise book. Yeah. Yeah, my school, my school did that too. <laughs> I didn't even have a free pencil for crying out loud. <laughs> well, it's I, not free. It's not free. It's part not of the tuition fees. Yeah, oh, yeah it's definitely part, pay for it. So, so mm. being like a very technological school, Correct. Yeah. Uh, these guys are obviously using it as part of like your, your learning experience in the classroom. Mm. Are there like parameters to keep them from using it for other stuff and distracting themselves? <laughs> yeah. Like how does that work? Yeah, well, we have websites that are blocked. Ah. But you know, there's always ways around it. Let's be real, right? Oh, yeah. And so they're like, it's mm. just because there's they have technology with them all, all the time. time. Mm. So it's hard to keep them focused. Yep. Like you think they're reading a book, but they're reading, a, you know, like whatever that you send them. Yeah, to, yeah. But then they're like look, watching a movie. You know, oh. you, can, you can open a small tab, right? PIP, like picture tab. in picture. Yeah. Well, iOS 16. <laughs> let's get it. I would be a, <laughs> I, 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 If that was my era... <laughs> I, I will be a horrible student. Yeah. I have no focus. So, so what do you do like to, right now. to step them back? In my classes, when you don't have to use the iPad, I don't let them touch it at all. I like I that. try mm. to minimize it because I feel like there's so much distractions. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather not. iPad kids. How are they like? Are they like honestly more introverted as well? Like, okay, from your videos, it doesn't seem like it. They yeah. seem very yeah. chatty. But in general, I'm asking also just pure curiosity, right? Because yeah. my kid's going to grow into one of these one day. Yep. I just need to like get ready, right. you know, how to deal with it. Um, are kids these days more open about sharing their lives? Or, or, I mean, because, okay, with you, it does seem that you make it a very different thing, like really connecting with your students, right? Mm. And um, that's very unheard of even when I was, I think almost all the way until my university, Mm. And if it wasn't because I did like a human sciences kind of degree, mm. I don't think my lecturers would be even interested in what you do. Let alone like, hey, how are you doing? You know, and what's your day? Like you, you invest time into your, your kids, right? Like, yeah. like just know them as people. Yeah. Are kids these days like more open about sharing stuff? Like, I mean, mm. like bad and good. Yeah. Or like they come up to you and talk to you about stories. Like how are they like, are they open? I think it's not a generation thing. I think it's a human thing that everybody wants to be heard oh. and everybody wants to be like known, right? And so if you put in the effort to get to know someone mm. and you show them that you are safe, that mm. you are trustworthy, that you really care, then I think people will open up to you. Some people oh. open up a lot easier, some not so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think as long as you put in the effort. Every, I mean, as long as it's effort. Mm. It's not like mm, that one cannot talk to. I don't believe so. Oh, look at that Mother Teresa vibes. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I tell you. Yeah. I mean, let me put it this way. I had a chemistry teacher once. Mm. All right, Don't say connection to kids. La. She's a chemistry teacher. We need to do experiments. She got, she's so lazy <laughs> that she describes the experiments to us. That's like wrong. this would be a class. Yes. This would be a class. Yeah. All of us are in the lab, by the way. Mm. <laughs> okay, Akis, you just picture with your mind, okay? I will take a beaker and then we put ammonium in like that and then you swirl like this. And then we add wow. into the... Fat, and, the and 
this is an hour's class of like <laughs> my imagination does not what does ammonia look like you know um i how the effort that you put into your classes your prep right how is it like like do you is there how much prep do you put in for like the subject that you mm. uh, how many subjects do you teach so right now i only teach two subjects right how's the prep for that Okay, so the subjects I teach are very interesting. They're mm. non-conventional. Right. I teach a subject called, uh, it's kind of like life skills. So okay. it's wow. a whole different kind of prep. I teach sex education, um, financial literacy, mental health, wow. um, cooking, gardening. And all, of, and all of this is under life One skills. One subject, yeah. Damn, so it's literally, you're teaching them to do life. Lah. We were yeah. Missing, yeah. What did we learn? We had Kamara and Hido. It was quite lame. I learned how to make a I learned how to make a work, work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I made a bench. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, and how much prep do you like like give yourself to, to prep all this these classes? Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, I, I try my best to schedule my time because I am kind of busy. I do other stuff. You know, I have other Yeah, influencer life. You know. Y- yes. yes. So, like, <laughs> yes. You see that? so I it, yeah. I make sure all my work is done in school. Mm, so okay. I think I just take and because these are topics that I am passionate about and I'm also interested in. So like three, three hours, one, three to one, one to three hours per lesson. Right. right. And this but is during the work day or like yes, when you go home? during the work home? day. Okay. During okay. the work day. So in between classes and when you don't have, Correct. or after classes are done, then yeah. you have that sort of three hours to do your prep work. Okay. Yeah, or like one hour in between. But I will say, most teachers take work home if you teach core subjects. I was I mean, just going to ask. I mean, Confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that one's I feel like, me, I... I have friends who used to teach and they come out because of that. That they don't have a life Correct. anymore because there's like, I can't even watch my shows. I can't meet up with friends because yeah. everything is cut short with, I have class prep. I have, I have you know, I have lesson mm. prep. Mm. And then you just go back and you're like, oh, I teach in school and then I go home and I need to study because I'm teaching this tomorrow. Right. Yeah. So I used to teach science, PT3 science. And that was like very, very heavy. Yeah. So a lot of planning. You have to oh, create okay. slides. You have to create like wow. exercises, assignments. Right. So that. <sighs> Homework. More times, man. Mm. Can't always be the good the Has good teacher, there been yeah. a time in all of that where you felt, oh man, I'm out. Ooh. I, 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 I don't want to do this because it's like, I don't get to live for myself anymore. Mm-mm. Right? Mm. I will say, <sighs> I don't really enjoy teaching content like science, English, stuff like that. I'm not passionate about teaching content. I'm passionate about like, the kids like mental health, they're growing right. as a life lesson. Yeah, so like if you ask me to teach something that I really don't like, I'm like the kids are gonna <laughs> see it, right? The kids. Yeah, no, they know. I try, <laughs> yeah, but I, like I, they I, know. I know what you right, mean. Right, yeah. I can right. imagine that. Um, younger parents these days, I mean, obviously younger parents, new kids, new parents. Um, knowing what you you know and you know, um, being who you are on social media as well, do you think like even with iPads, like you just said, right? Mm. Everyone has an iPad. Do younger parents need to be strict with their kids nowadays? I mean, how in terms of like consuming content, being on yeah. social media, the world, literally. Um, what's your take? Yes, what's your take? as an educator, super, oh, how strict? Super strict. Tell me, I'm about to break the iPads in my house. No, I don't. I love. I love you, Apple. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Okay. I How's think it? all the apps that you like your kids use need to be like the kid version. Like YouTube has one, right? Netflix yeah, you do has kids. One. Yeah, yeah. Um, because. A lot of my students, when they're free reign, they access sites that they shouldn't. And they're just curious. Mm-hmm. But once like they're exposed to something they shouldn't be seeing, right? And like, I think they're too young mm. to be exposed to this. Yeah. No, it's for real. I, I think like even when Haley watches iPads, I, yeah. I, we make it a constant uh, thing to, I, I will make it a constant thing at least to monitor what she's watching even for fun. Um, I, I think, okay, what's your take? Like, is it, because it's we're, we're, we're more and more we're going into an era where technology is so freely available compared yeah. to when we were growing up we had to ask permission to be on the on the, on the internet literally right mm. so there was a very easy on and off switch um, but nowadays everyone's connected to internet literally every second how how much of control do you think is right control your personal mm. your personal take on this though wow. um, is it like you know amount of minutes because there is also an argument that <clears throat> everyone's online. Everyone's connected. Yeah. If your kid is not connected, they're losing out. Right? Your kid's not learning as fast as the other people. They're not experiencing things uh, like other kids do. What's your take on that? Mm. It's tough. It's tough? Okay, because I grew up, right, with my parents being very strict. Mm. And that made me want it more. Because I have a time limit. Mm. Yes. Like my parents would say, Oh you. no, we, you're, <laughs> preaching yes. to the, you're preaching to the choir, right? Yeah. 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 The, yeah. I have to give in my phone uh, before 9pm every night. 
You had a phone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I did have a phone. But only like a, I think I got my first phone when I was 15. I like your parents. Your parents are the real stuff. When did, did, I really like your parents. Really? Yeah, I don't know That's where. crazy. I'm glad they, hello, good, uh, good job, man. I, for me, because I'm, I'm the oldest kid, uh, I, up until 18 into college, mm. I had to ask my dad permission to be online. Yeah. Ooh. Into college and I had to negotiate with my dad that dad, it can't work this way. I need to be online longer to do my assignments. And thank God streaming came. It wasn't dial up anymore. You know, dark ages. Um, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's a valid thing though to take iPads away from kids nowadays? Mm. I want to say what I think. I've never done it before. Like, right. Right? I have no kids, right? But like, I want to say that the best thing is to have them understand that uh. like they shouldn't be on it. But I don't know because technology is created to be addictive. It is. So, social media. Social yeah. media is created to be addictive, yeah. I don't know. That's I think definitely some kind of boundaries like when you're younger. You, what you said though is extremely right. I remember the day, the first day, I had no limitations to playing my PlayStation. I played it into the ground. Yeah. I literally had a high fever after that day. <laughs> I played Digimon World 1 so much. It's true. I, I had a high fever after that. I, I forgot to, to go to toilet. I, I didn't put like water uh, towels on his head. It, yeah. My mom was like, use your brother, take care of him. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I am. I have, I probably blacked out because I can't remember yeah. any of that. It is true. I think for kids, it's it's the reverse effect, right? And mm. I, since I have one, I so I do a few tests on her myself. Uh, not that kind of test, okay? It is true. Like I think, it, it you need to guide kids as they use stuff. Like Haley gets sick of the iPad, mm. and I think when you have free reign to it, and Haley knows that you are allowed to use this, or you know, you're not you're allowed to have your time with this she eventually gets tired of the iPad and wants to socialize. Mm. And I felt like, wow, if you gave me a Nintendo when I was at six, I'd never put it down. Something's happening here that I don't understand. And like education, I guess, things are changing along, along the way with technology. Yeah. Um, you're in a very tech-savvy school. Um, and being on social media and whatnot, right? Is it a good tool to teach kids with yeah, if you don't, then you lose out, right? Like everyone, everything's going technology, like, you know, focus and mm. you are still using your textbooks and still asking them to like, write. Personally, I don't think that's the way forward. Right. Yeah. Got to send the PDFs. Like call them up at nine o'clock. Did you download the email? <laughs> but oh, wow. The excuses will be so different. So, mm, teacher, I have no internet connection. I didn't data. Mm, I didn't get your email. Went to my spam folder. You, do you get that? Yeah, they, yeah, they definitely say stuff like that. But yeah, they do. But right now, everything is like PDF. We upload everything online. So right. they definitely use that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, sorry, this is just flashbacks to my, my early Taylor's days. That we don't even get sent the, the, the homework. We have to go to some school board and download our PDFs, which is usually never working. That's very much fun, right? It didn't work. Oh, well, <laughs> it's not just not fun. It just work. didn't even work. <laughs> you, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to sidetrack a bit from all this. You have a card game? I do. You have a card game. Oh yeah. yeah. You are. Well, I didn't know what? that. Was. Yeah, what? she has a card oh, you don't? game. <laughs> yeah. How did that come about? Yeah. So that's my site business. Okay. Um, it's called But Honestly. Mm. Oh, I know this. Oh, you know the my, game? My PA loves this. Oh, really? She brings it around in a freaking bag all the freaking time. What? Yeah. That's oh. so cool. Oh, yeah. Did wow. We, oh, wow. Did, we, did she leave it for us today? The but honestly, Alama, we don't have it now. No, 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 we don't have it now. But it's okay, oh, we can man. insert a picture. What is it about? Picture. What is it about? Go. It's a conversational card game. Yes. It helps to build conversation, yes. um, vulnerability, makes people closer together. That's the whole heart of it. I oh, man. I swear you sound it's like a counselor. That's 20 points. I really like wow. you. I like you a lot more now than <laughs> when I read this now. Oh, thank you. The, 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 sorry about your parents, the burden for yeah. the next generation. Oh, I really like you. I appreciate it. Wow. You guys are quality <laughs> guests, man. I like key. I like hers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mew comes in really skeptical. Yeah, I'm really just like, like mm, okay, next. <laughs> All your TikTokers oh, coming oh. in. I love that. that. That's why we started the takeaway. Because that's in the name, right? We, we didn't want conversations to just end here. We always oh. wanted things to have a life after. And we mm. realized that a lot of people just sit down and don't talk because they're on your screen. Yeah. And so I love that the heart of that game is to create conversation. So, damn. How long do you take to develop it? Yeah. Like, what's that? So if I'm starting, like creating it with my partners until we released it on Kickstarter, which is a crowdfunding mm -hmm, yeah, platform, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think about nine months. Eh, oh, wow, that's sure. okay. Yeah, we did it during MCO. So we oh, had more time. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah. So that's okay. basically two years. Lah, mm, yeah. MCO timing. <laughs> correct, correct. Yep. Yes. Now has it been so far? The card game owner. Hey, wait. Have we seen it in Invictus? 
Mm, I don't know. Oh, okay. We, we There's a card game shop. There's a Ooh. boss game shop right next to us. We go there all the time to play. Well, that's not uh, too child-friendly. Uh, but yes, <laughs> we, we, I mean, yeah. Why don't we bring some in and, and have people play it? We'll do so, a giveaway. Yeah, we'll, we'll give away we'll do a giveaway the, as well. Okay. We'll, do, yeah, a we'll do a giveaway. We do the hey, share this we'll video, a, like we'll it. We'll do a <laughs> sign giveaway. I don't know how we're gonna get oh. a sign, in, but we'll just get oh. a sign. Okay, we'll figure it out. Yes, yeah, we'll can. figure it out. But honestly, what? Oh wow, that's nice. great. That is that is the episode, guys. How do you know? I have so many oh, questions. Wait, 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 <laughs> like, how is that is just the end of the episode, man? No, 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 no. I feel like we've barely scratched the surface. I have so many questions because I feel like you do so many things aside from teaching. You are a content creator. You have the whole influence life that can happen or is happening as well. You also run a side business and you are obviously very well connected. You're very savvy. How do you stay dedicated to being a teacher? Because there's so many things that's going on. Like, how mm. do you decide every morning? Mm. Yep, I'm going to love on these kids again, even though one of them shit depends on <laughs> Like, how do, you do, how, how do you do that? Like, I, I, if I was in your position, I'd be like, all right, I did that. Now I can write a book. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's hard. It's a struggle because I feel like to be very honest, like, there are other things that can make me more money. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, but I have committed to like finish the school year with them. I've committed to like be with them during this time. And so even when I don't feel like I want to, when I walk into school and they do something silly or they make me laugh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's the most fulfilling job I can ever do. And I uh, think like even if I if I ever stop becoming a teacher, I don't think I would get that level of satisfaction yeah, ever. Yeah, well. It was just yeah. So So do you feel like you always I mean, because you know it's life is life and there's going to be different ways to teach people in, in, mm. like in the future as well uh, do you feel like teaching will definitely be a part of I guess who you are as a person moving on I think education I want to remain somehow in the education space I may not be a teacher mm. forever yeah, yeah. Um, but I want to at least do like you know in Sunday school or like volunteering yeah. or like something um, with like education policy making or you know curriculum stuff like that honestly yeah. from yeah. everything you said and you know how you've just expressed the way you work and your beliefs about uh, education and how you treat the kids. Honestly, you sound like the best guidance counselor a school could have. Yeah. Really, like seriously, like uh, the guidance counselors weren't that great. But I think kids need a safe space yeah. in school. Yeah. And you know, hey, at least you don't have to teach content. So it's all about the kids and right. you dedicate. Yeah. Uh, you really do sound like you have the makings of a great uh, school counselor. Hey. Yeah, you mean hey, mm-hmm, a little bit more studying, get a you know certification, and there we go. Also, pay bump. Correct. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. definitely, yeah. What, and, and no more science teaching, you know, <laughs> no right. more math. Yeah. What yeah. what what do your friends like think? Like, because I'm sure you've had friends in like you know growing up, and then everyone's doing different things now. Mm. Were they all any of them like, huh? Still teaching? Ah, huh? You sure? Huh? You know, like has the uh, been that sort of conversation mm. on the side? I think not now. They see that I love my job because I'm always okay. like sharing about my yes. kids, posting about my kids. Very passionate, yeah. Yeah, but mm-hmm. before, when I first decided to become a teacher, I remember my teachers telling me, why do you want to become a teacher? Wow. Like your results are so good. Don't be a teacher. Like don't go to something else. Oh, um, wow. Wow. What, yeah. Like what? Crazy. Like, like what, we, what, what were the options open? Like, so I was a science student. So like, you know, go be a doctor, you know, all that science ah. stuff. And my parents also were like, why don't you study, you know, physics or right, why don't right, you right. do engineering? Yeah. Like, I don't like those. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, like, those. I don't like those things. That, I'm good, yeah, thanks. It's not me. So I didn't. <laughs> got it, got it. But yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. The passion for kids is it's, real. It's, it's mm. so crazy because I feel like it's, it's actually harder to connect with the younger people today because of how saturated their minds are with like media oh, yeah, and all this fast moving stuff. Yeah, like, and, and, and I feel like that's one reason why anyone would be more than willing to be like, yeah, I'll leave it to someone else. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I think the last time we had Soon Singh on, Soon Singh's the head of Teach for Malaysia. Um, and, and we mm. spoke about stuff like this at length because he's, his passion was, he became a teacher because he wanted to make sure that people could read, that people had a yeah. chance of getting themselves like a better future, even if where they were right now or like right then, wasn't the greatest, right? Mm. And I think that's what education does for people. Yeah. So to hear you, to hear you like have that burden for them, that's, ah, oh, it's crazy. Good job. Right? Because I feel like sometimes people look at teaching or at least I'm, the teachers that we've had, some of my teachers, they always felt like teaching was the last resort. Like there was yeah. nothing else for them to do. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, I'll just go be a teacher. Uh, so it, yeah. it, it always, it's, it's always like, I don't say the word refreshing because it's very cliche, 
I want to say like, it's very inspiring to meet people who actually are passionate about teaching. So, yeah. man. Good job. Oh, thanks. So cool, you guys are so damn. nice. Oh, damn, no, damn, you, damn. you are nice. <laughs> Time for a, a twist. Oh, no. Do you remember the question in the beginning? The, of the question episode? was, yeah. do you think we'd be great teachers? Uh-oh. <laughs> I want to say, I will, maybe great's a big word. Do you think we would? It will work out. Yeah. People hire us. And if we <laughs> ended up as teachers, like, because I'm sure you've got like your whole, what does it take to be a teacher? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Can you suss teachers out though? I feel like you can. It's a yeah. skill. Yeah. I mean, you learned about teaching. Yeah. Wow. So if I see them have. teach, then okay. Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen you guys teach, but oh, no. I will say, educate, like, in education, they're yeah. lacking engaging people, funny people. And I think you guys are engaging and funny and you guys are like fun, right? And so can you imagine if you were in a classroom? Okay, maybe like you think you're a bit like, inappropriate or something. I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. She was looking at you when like, you said that. I don't know why he made that face. Yeah. <laughs> I was literally in the classroom. I, yeah. I, but I feel I'd be, I'd be a bit out of out of pocket for like maybe younger kids. Like I won't trust yeah. myself around primary kids. Like I think maybe college. I, I do have a passion for like, like maybe college to university level stuff where okay. I don't need to worry about you peeing in my class. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. Like I don't want to remind you, drink water. Yeah, right. Like, why are you so sweaty? Why? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I don't want to concern myself with that. <laughs> like, oh my oh. gosh. I, I do that enough with one kid at home. I'm done, you know, that kind of thing. Very kind oh, of what things, kind though. of subject may you, will be, may you be teaching? You asked me to, yeah, to think. Yeah. Uh. Since you think he's a Terrence. Doctor, Ter- <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Terrence, why, why, why must Mr. Terrence Okay, teaching? let me think, let me think. Mr. Uh. Terrence is no time to issue. <laughs> <laughs> what is Mr. Terrence Probably teaching? language, I think. Oh, damn. Am I right? Yeah, I did. was supposed to, that was actually one of my uh, initial, uh, it was one of my initial uh, ideas and, and, and directions for degree. It was law mm. or literature. Like oh. a full-on degree to teach. To teach wow. English. Wow. Yeah. I really so wanted cool. to, but I was like, shit. Why didn't, why didn't you? Because you too? Uh, or? Yeah, why didn't you? Why, I don't why know. Did you, why do you end up doing I, PR marketing and yeah. business? I don't know. Life. It was difficult, honestly. <laughs> like I, I did literature and I was like, good Lord. This mm. is very technical. There's no wrong or right yeah. answer. I, I do love it. I love teaching English. It's yeah. very hard. Because English is a very difficult Correct. language, right? But, and then I thought about a lot of English teachers need to also, to be an effective teacher, you need to be able to kind of bridge the gap and speak the other language as well. Yeah. What's the other I language? can't. What's, what's the other language? Like Chinese or oh, a bit like, more of like, if I'm teaching like a, like, a, like a Korean kid English, I have to have some sort of like, I'll try to, Help him learn faster to use a bit of Korean. Mm. My Chinese is what? What <laughs> Changhuayi, man? <laughs> right? So I can't teach you squat. I do. Oh, damn it. You okay. can? <laughs> you, you also can Changhuayi. You East Malaysians, you're better. What, what about, okay, okay, what, what about markets, Jeremy? What's his te- what, what do you think Jeremy will teach? Jeremy's straight up sex ed, man. Okay. Oh, like he's, he's just going to be as shy as you are in the class. <laughs> All right? This is the. No, no, no. no, 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 no Mr. Jeremy, what are you saying? Her answer, her answer, sorry, her answer. Sorry. Go, go. <laughs> mm. Look at the sus eyes. I'm going to use our finance. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Why not find no, it? No, no, we're talking about that. Oh, <laughs> I want to know. Okay, huh? I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to like of what I little I know about you. You're probably very organized. Like this is you know because we help organize quite, the, the yeah. podcast and stuff like that. So mm. I was gonna say maths, but then you say not finance. So I guess like <laughs> I don't know. He's not. He's good with numbers. Okay, yeah, I was gonna go with numbers. numbers. Not maybe when... primary school maths. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but actually, yeah. like I would, if I were a teacher, I think I'll teach ICT. I think you would be mm. amazing. Jeremy's really the, I, Jeremy's I, the guy in the chair. Growing up, I I like I went to a school that gave me a laptop. So, so like it was close to an iPad. What a laptop. flex. But but like that using the computer really like grow your in, like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. in yeah. the in, really in school uh, essay terms, broaden your horizon. Yeah, yes. broaden my horizon. Right. Damn, 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 damn. Then like in I don't know, back in my school there was computer labs and stuff like that. Right. So yes. Our those computer lab help, like always had dead animals in there. <laughs> I don't I know. I remember why. actually my kindergarten had a, pri- a PC. Like, I'm not sure if yours. A PC. I, I, like, a few PCs. But oh. that was a long time ago. Okay. I, I can't. I yeah. can't. I, I, I got scolded by calling my teacher dead animal, so I can't say that anymore. Oh. Sorry. Oh. No, you I didn't. Call I didn't. your teacher no, dead. No, I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. I was like, this is not on record. This is not on record. That's why. <laughs> All right. Allegedly. Not that's why. I didn't know. Uh, okay. Um, I guess that's, that's, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is I it for the episode. I, I think, I think there are. 
we should do other education based things yo i only not want teachers podcast. on the podcast now <laughs> we honestly we, no no hold on hold okay on, no hold sorry on. i can't not say all, that not not all, not all. it's like you don't you know so oh, for the both like the two teachers that's come on i really like both yeah podcasts. that's why we chose them to come yeah. on so you know so can we have another do you have any friends that can come on the podcast i just sorry, I, actually, I do i oh, do let's do it let's do a let's do a, another one we don't is it this will be next week Okay, sorry. Does Jerry. It doesn't have to be next week. week. But we could get more. And then okay. we could play like a game. Then we could get like four teachers here. And we'll, you know, what game do, do we... Okay, you know what? We'll like, leave it there. Why do you hate your teacher? Like, it could just be a game like that. <laughs> Again, right, just we'll, coming up with shit. We'll figure, we'll we'll figure, figure something out. We'll figure out. Okay. Why, don't, why don't, before we end, you can plug your socials and promote yes. your card game. Yeah. There where you can, go. Where, where, where can we find you? Yeah. Okay, you can find me on TikTok, not Chewy. Not Chewy. Um, on Instagram, I'm Chewy. And I'm also Such trying. A paradox. <laughs> I know. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, I am on YouTube as well. You can just type in my name, Sichi. Um, oh. And yeah, my I'm trying to be on YouTube. Um, yes. My card game is bothonestly.co.co. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, and yeah, our website. Valentina as well. swears by this game. All right, she literally suggested to two, uh, three other girls who they were supposed to go out for breakfast brunch hangs. Right, and she was like, "Guys, should we try bring uh, but honestly, in case we run out of things to talk about, Aww. and they're like, are you stupid? We have a lot of things to talk about, but also just bring the game. <laughs> so yeah, wow. it was good. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for being here. Thank it you. is a big thing taking a teacher out yes. on a school night. On a school night, look at this wild <laughs> so living man. We we got this a wild we got, girl. We got a watch time. Mingyu, what is the song recommendation? This week's song week? recommendation is from Resort, our very own homegrown music people." Uh, this one's called Pretty Baby and it sounds like this. Is it playing? I'm scrubbing it up. I'm scrubbing it up. It's It'll come in post. Then. It's, it's <laughs> coming in post. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. It's All a great right. song. Go check it out. Pretty Baby is available on Spotify and Apple Music. It's where you just it's where you stream your music stuff. You know what else is on Apple Music and Spotify? What? All the episodes of the Table Talk wow. podcast. If you guys are mm. keen on jumping out. And just, you know, watching all the great podcasts that we've been having. Can I just say, Jeremy, we did a shout out internally, but this it needs to be an external shout out. Jeremy's been uh, just, just, just the most, what's the, I don't even know what the word is here, bro. You've been on fire bringing oh. in guests week after week since we moved to this set. So shout out, shout out. Shout out to our guests so far. Yeah, shout out to our guests as well. Time. All right, yeah. it's just been getting better and better. I'm yeah. so, like my expectations are so high. Next week, we better have like Mate or something, bro. So, like it's just been getting better and better. I swear. It, it's I, I, been I, I amazing. Will, uh, we're trying. They don't know what else is amazing. Tell us about Discord community, man. They are there. They are still there. I'm th- I join our Discord at discord.g just slash take the takeaway table. Although admittedly it's not as hot as during the MCO when yeah. people had nowhere to go. But there is a community online. I would they like love, to apologize they for love me. memes. Uh, and we are also very sorry that we have been disregarding a lot because life has just. But hey, but hey, but if hey. you join today, you get a chance to win a card game. So hey, yes, oh, yes, oh. that's how we're doing it. Mm. Not just a card game, yeah. a sign, a sign game. card game with a photo card, with a phone number, like the, oh, like the K-pop idols when they give albums. <laughs> There's photo cards. <laughs> Yeah. I don't thank know you, you uh, everyone. Thank you so much, thank Chi-Chi, you today. You're Chi-Chi, amazing. for being a part of the podcast thank today. You for having me. Um, for more, check out her stuff. Check out her content. She she does she just nice does nice things. I wish yes. I had teachers like that. So I, I thank wish. you for being the change. Aww. You know, you are yeah. growing this whole bunch of kids yeah. that will change the country. It all just starts with what do you like to do? That's it. It's a nice question. Follow, tic- follow TikTok at the takeaway table. Take care, stay safe, and let me just continue talking while I find the outro button. Thanks for listening to the podcast, everyone. <laughs> Merry we'll Christmas. See you guys Bye. next time. Bye.